Hello. In the last four session, we have learned how we can load the data from the various sources. MA.NET SDK also provides a way to save the data. This is useful when you want to perform the pre-processing of the data and perform the training in the different applications. So you can save the data after the pre-processing from the one application and load the same data into the another application which is responsible for training model. I will show you how to save the data from the iData view to the various sources. I have copied all the files from the Assassin 70. Here we are use the text loader to load the data from the multiple file. Let's start with the save data in the enumeration. For this we need to use the create enumerable method of type input model and pass the data view. We don't want to reuse the object so pass the a force, convert it to the a list, add a breakpoint at the end, update the program.cs file, save all the files and run the project. Open QuickWatch. Here you can see that it contains the 16 data in the list and all of its value are as per the iData view. This is commonly used while we are debugging the application. But in the real life application, we need to save the data in the either CSV, TSV, or binary file. Let's start with the TSV file. For this, we require the file stream. So create a using block. The file name will be combined data set. File mode will be open or create. To save the data in the file, we need to use the context.data.save as text. And we need to pass the data view and the stream. Save all the files and run the project. Open the file explorer. Here we can see that combined dataset TSV file is created. Let me open the file in the VS Code. Here you can see that values are separated by tabs. Along with this, it contains the header as well as the schema which specify the file name, type, and index. Now we want to generate it as a CSV file. For this, copy paste this block and change the extension to the csv for csv we need to set the separator to the comma this time we do not want to print the header as well as the schema save the file and run the project Here you can see that the CSV file is created and this file just has the data. It does not contain any header or the schema detail as we have specified. Copy paste this block and change extension to the bin. To save the data as a binary we need to use the save as binary method. Run the project. Open the explorer. Open the VS Code. This is a binary file, so it does not show the uh, content by default. Click on the Open It Anyway link. Obviously, we will not able to understand this binary data. But at the end, you can see that it contains the schema detail. Let's see what we have learned in this session.
ml.net allows us to save the data from the data view to the enumerable or the files. To create enumerable, we need to use the create enumerable method. It requires the model in the generic parameter. In the case of saving data in the file, we need to use the file frame. To save the text file, we need to use the save as text. And to save the binary file, we need to use the save as binary method. Stay tuned for the next session.